All right, so this will be part four. This is my 2001 Peterbilt 387 and 1991 Pitts trailer. The Pitts is really nice. Uh, all I've ever, you know, pulled till now has been homemade stuff, older trailers, you know, and uh, I can really tell the difference I had, holds the load and, you know, just drives a whole lot better and a whole lot easier. The little twigs back here. And uh, in Virginia, you gotta have two straps on long wood. If it was cut up, two bunks, and I'd have to have four straps, but anyway. I got these strap, uh, flags here off of Amazon. You gotta have flags on the end of these long wood trucks and i got these on amazon because they had the reflective on it and i figured that, that would just be you know a better benefit of having that at night i do a lot of hauling at night so anything to help you be seen and not be hit is a good thing all right we're gonna be leaving the woods here headed to the wood yard uh record a little bit of this when I get to the wood yard I can't record in there unfortunately but here we are It is a little bit difficult to see right here. You can't tell on camera, but you can't really see a long ways up and down the road. So I'll stop. And also I'll put my emergency flashers on where maybe it'll help catch somebody's attention coming up the road when I'm pulling out. This is a manual over automatic over manual transmission, so I have a clutch uh, to start and stop things like that. But it does change gears by itself. And uh, right here, it's on a downhill swing, so sometimes it'll uh, be difficult to get it to change the gears right. Sometimes it'll miss a gear because it'll be rolling too fast. pretty smooth that time I'll put it in manual now we're in seventh gear so I can hold it coming up through these little hills I have noticed it works better with this truck being uh, like I said auto like this uh, sometimes I need to put it in manual mode to keep it from changing gears because when you try to run a hill like that it'll change up into high gear and then as soon as you hit the hill it just dies down so sometimes it works easier just to throw it up in manual mode and kind of uh, control the gears a little bit better yourself One feature that I like about it is that I can, it's push button, but I can control the gears uh, manually. Like right now, we'll go ahead and upshift. There we go. But usually after I get out of the bad hills where it pulls so much, I'll just put it back in drive and let it uh, do its own thing from there. Cut the 
camera off now. Wait till we get down the road a little bit further. Uh, going to be hauling through a road with a lot of curves, and I'll record that when we get there.
moose there. I can think of at least of uh, getting a load of wood, right? <laughs> 